adventures. We are just learning very basic things about one week, two week, and three week. But there are around 26 dimensions, or uh, maybe great. I am not much. No. Uh, yeah, I can. I just wanted a nice little brief about what are dimensions. Like from 4D onwards, like we can um, we know about the uh, x, y, and z axis or 3D. So when it will be 4D, what is the extra axis that will come? And just a little briefing about dimensions and all. Okay. Very good. Question. So let's get out, pick up this tissue box right here. <laughs> so then this tissue, this tissue box. Looks like this, right? This tissue box looks like this. And the force of the vessel is in generation. So you can obviously tell this is this. So this is the length. This is the width. And this is the height. All we mean by three-dimensions is three metrics. So we use to specify the size and the object. So using the length, width, and height, we can say that this object has any uh, some sort of size. And the reason we use that perpendicularly is very simple. It makes our volume and area calculations very easy. So if we have a sheet of paper, usually the thickness is negligible. So we talk about the two the metrics that we measure. With. We measure it by the width and by the height. And so if we're in four dimensions, then we use four metrics to measure it. But of course, we haven't come across any objects that need that in the real world. And we, uh, and so, since we don't need it in the real world, we can't imagine what it would look like on a sheet of paper or a smartphone. It's a very, uh, it's a very nice question. And actually, the reason I said one more in the 27th dimension, which, which apparently seems a little bit confusing, this essentially just means we have an object that needs 27 perpendicular axes to measure. Of course, there's nothing like that in real life, and there probably never will be. But this allows us to generalize any vector. Because the vectors that we have in our life usually have two components, or maybe three components. But it turns out, in general relativity, most vectors have four components because they have to account for time. And if we were doing general relativity in any other dimension, which seems to be useful for other applications, like string theory, we could have even more than four dimensions, maybe even 12. So uh, we just generalize any vector because it makes things easier for us to do in higher dimensions which we often need to do when considering the theories that utilize higher dimensions. Of course, we already can see 3D in real life, but when it comes to 4D, which is what general relativity often uses, we can't actually visualize that. So we simply have to generalize it. When it comes to, for example, strength theory, which has 11 dimensions, or so I've heard, uh, then we need to generalize that even more, because that's beyond human imagination. And finally, when it comes to the axis that is beyond x, y, and z in four dimensions doesn't have an official name, and any official name isn't important, but most people opt to call it W. So thank you for the question. It's very interesting. Thank you, thank you for your you know, uh, nice question, please. Uh, next question, your name and class. Uh, oh, okay, okay. One from this side, one. Okay, so uh, next question, I will Good afternoon, sir. I am Mohamed Mazlaskar of uh, 12th Standard. Uh, my question is uh, basically related to physics. Uh, well, another physics question. Uh, we all dream. We see some visuals. Uh, my question is how do blind people dream? Do they dream or how do they dream? If they dream, they need to see something. And if they can't see something, how do they well, that's more of a psychological question, but I guess that blind people dream, because obviously uh, dreaming is, isn't using your retina. Most blind people don't just completely see black. Instead, they have like cloud, clouds in front of their eyes, for example, that don't allow them to see anything except their peripheral vision. So that's their legally blind. And in that specific case, we call it cataract. 